How would you react if someone slaps you on your face? Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to study about inflammation, the basic idea about inflammation and how does it differ from infection. So here in this picture we can see a person slapping. If this was me and someone was slapping me, I would react to this thing which happened to me in a certain manner. I would either slap back or I would either you know abuse that person <laughs> though i don't like abusing or i would either um in rarest of rare cases i would cry okay so this is my response to the external thing here the slap which i received so this would be my response to the slap i received similarly our tissue also responds in a similar manner all right so this is my tissue suppose this is my tissue so if some injurious agent is arriving from outside this tissue will react in a certain manner and that is you know a general idea what inflammation is so inflammation is defined as the local response of living mammalian tissue local response local response to injury all right so it is a body defense reaction in order to eliminate or limit the spread of injurious agent followed by removal of the necrosed cells or tissue so what it does it tries to eliminate eliminate or limit the spread of the injurious agent and then it also tries to remove the cells that have been infected that have been you know necrosed or that have been um that are no longer useful for the tissue that have been affected by this uh injurious agent which we were getting all right so these agents which cause inflammation may be uh you know infective agents or immunological agents physical agents chemical agents or some inert material as well like the foreign bodies okay so this is inflammation inflammation is distinct from infection that means that inflammation is not at all infection because inflammation is a protective mechanism it is a protective mechanism it is a protective response by the body to variety of etiological agents all right while infection is invasion into the body by harmful microbes and their resultant ill effects so here in this case the in infection what happens is the microbes or other infectious agent have invaded the tissue and they have started showing their ill effects they have started showing their ill effects and in inflammation we have two basic processes uh, these are the inflammatory response we have the early inflammatory inflammatory response inflammatory response and this is followed by healing this is followed by healing now let's study the signs of inflammation so we have five signs of inflammation these are called um cardinal signs so first there were just four signs and was given by uh i think celsus yeah celsus c e l s u s so these are rubber rubber then we have the tumor tumor then we have we have the calor calor then we have the dalor so if you don't understand what these are rubber is redness redness tumor is swelling swelling calor is i think it's calor yeah calor calor is heat and this is actually not dalor this is i think we pronounce it as dolor this is pain so these are the four cardinal signs and the fifth one is the functio functio this is f my horrible handwriting and lisa which means loss of function loss of function all right and this uh, fifth one this fifth one it was added by wordshaw was added by wordshaw so this was a brief idea about inflammation in the upcoming videos we'll be studying about the acute inflammation as well as the chronic inflammation and the process which is going on inside the body hope you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe 
Share the video. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.